Hello and welcome back to The Grid. In this episode, we will talk about the mathematics of time. In the last two episodes, we talked about what is time, and how sleep relates to time, and how mornings do not change the value of time, even though it happens at different hours on the clock. So, the journey goes back to the beginning of time, when time was initially conceived and materialized in the fabric of space-time we know of today. It is believed that time only exists for as many years there are on the calendar, but that is not true. Time existed since the creation of the universe. Even though we have mornings at different times, the time remains the value of one. Time remains at the value of one because it is a pseudorsonance of the sinusoidal wave format of the matter to amount of carbon atoms in existence. The amount of carbon atoms in the whole universe is a constant, so doing the math, at any given value, the value of carbon atoms does not change, so neither does the time. But why are carbon atoms so important to us? Well, carbon has the atomic number of 6. 6 divided by itself is 1, the exact mathematical value of time. 6 multiplied by 6 is 36, which divided by the second number of 36, which is 6, also results in 6. Using the formula for carbon, 6 has an universal usage around the world. 5 precedes 6, and 7 follows it, both of which are also numbers. 6 is the smallest natural number that can be written as the sum of two positive rational cubes which are not integers. 6 is the largest of the four all harsh numbers. In recreational mathematics, a harsh number, or an even number, in a given number base, is an integer that is divisible by the sum of its digits when written in that base. Harsh numbers in base n are also known as n harsh, or n even, numbers. Harsh numbers are believed to be the source of time. But what are numbers? And how do they influence our daily life? Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for listening.